back and we went to the second part of our lessons about MISH analysis. Today we're going to talk about uh, super MISH. Um, in this lesson, uh, we're going to explain what is super MISH, where is that terminology come from, how, where, when I'm going to use this technique in solving questions. So, uh, let me start first with the basics about current and voltage sources. All of you knows that uh, we have voltage sources, we have current sources, we have dependent sources. So you have to take concern about these uh, these things. So let me start first with the current sources. Whenever, whenever you see this sample in a circuit, it doesn't represent anything. But if Inside the sampler, we have plus and minus. This is a voltage source. Voltage source. And this voltage source is independent. What I mean by independent that its value it's not depending on anything else the dependence or you will you will see later what's the different and you will figure out that by yourself what's the difference between dependent and independent sources so this is independent so it has its own value for example 10 volt 5 volt and so on else so this is the voltage source now whenever you see this sample in the circuit This is a current source. And it's independent too. Independent too. It has its own value. For example, 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3 ampere, and so on. The unit of this is volt. And this is ampere. Now, this is independent sources independent sources okay um, so does this have a current yes it has its current but I don't know well, the value because it's depending on the resistor element does this has a voltage across it yes it has voltage across it uh, but I don't know what's, uh, how much is the vo uh, voltage across it because it's just a current, it's just representing that. In this wire, there is that much current flowing it. So, now, how th the question is how that related to niche analysis? How is that related to MISH analysis? Okay, MISH analysis, as you talked before, you have to first put your MISH, you know how many MISH you have. So I have the first MISH, which can contain I1, the second MISH, I2, the third MISH, I3. Now, remember, we have to put the signs on the components, okay? So this is the signs. So this is the current going up, 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 down. And this element is a common element between mesh one and mesh two. So I suppose that I assume that this current is great has a greater value than this one. So the sign is plus, minus. And I go down, 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 down. In this branch, if some if, if someone asks you how, uh, how, uh, what, which, what is the value of the current inside this branch without thinking guys, without thinking is 14 without thinking because this is a current source here that gives you 14 ampere okay so here I have the, the resistor element which is 2 ohm and the current is in this direction and I suppose that this current is greater than this current, so plus minus. Now, go up, 
the I2 go up, 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 plus, minus. Now, the I2, I suppose the I2 is greater than I3, so plus, minus. Now, I3, plus, minus. Where is enter the, uh, where, is, where, where is the current? Enter the element is going to be the plus sign. Remember that. Wherever the current goes into the component, the, that, uh, uh, that place is going to be the plus sign. Okay? Great. <coughs> okay, then remember the third step was to make, to write the KVL equations. So the KVL equations. For the first loop, okay. K, B, L. First loop. First loop, okay. Let's we start. Plus seven. The voltage across the one ohm resistor is this resistor value multiplied to the current value. So I suppose that this current is greater than this current, so minus I1 minus I2. Then we go down how much the voltage here. Nobody knows. I don't know how much the voltage is here. That's the problem. So here I have to use super niche here where the super niche is used you get that where now I, I want to complete my loop to, to, to put the, the third voltage in the, in the first loop but I have a current source I don't know how much the voltage around the current source because KVL is talking about voltage and here I have current I don't have the voltage so that's the problem what, can, what I'm gonna do you have to remove this branch Now, you have something called super niche. This is super niche. Um, so now, we're going to write the equations of the super niche. So we're going to write the KVL equations. For super niche. So, using the arrow, this is the arrow, up 7 volt with the arrow, now the arrow up, 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 down against the plus, so minus, I suppose that this current is greater than this current, so it's I1 minus I2, I1 minus I2, now down here with the arrow, the signs with the arrow, so it's my, uh, plus 3, 3 multiplying 2. I suppose that the I2 is greater than I3, so the plus sign is here. So I2 minus I3. I2 minus I3. Now, down. Again, the sign minus I3. Then back, all is equal to 0. So that's the equations of super niche. This is the equation of super niche. Okay, then we write the second equation of the, the circuit, which is this one here. Now, the same procedures. This is the arrow. This is the arrow. So, it's with, with the sign. So, I1 minus I2 
against the sine plus minus 2 pi 2 minus 3 pi 2 minus pi 3. All of that is equal to 0. So these are our equations of this circuit. Now, to say you have to simplify these equations, and you will get at the end two unknowns, two equations. You can solve them by substitution method or by matrices. Uh, at the end, we come to the end of this lesson. I will give you t some time to review this information, then we will continue.